right. Imagine that we flip it 12 times. Copy to the right. Imagine we flip it 13 times. Copy to the right two more times. And say that we're going to flip it 14 times. And then copy to the right one more time. And then we have to stop these good times of copying to the right and say that we flip it 15 times. So there's our, there's our random generation tests going from one, I'm gonna put my cursor on these two and drag it to the right and it should be able to, to pick up the test numbers going from test one to 14. I'm gonna select all of these, make that into a border by going to the home tab font group and I'll make it black and white which is typically what I do with the borders and let's center it. And then I'm gonna go back to the, to, the, to the left and I'm gonna select all of my information here and put my blue, blue and borders around it. Now this is just my test range. So what I'd like to do is just copy this whole thing and then I'm just gonna paste it one, two, three so that this thing will reshuffle anytime I wanna kind of reshuffle it. I can go in here and and reshuffle everything and uh, then it'll and then I can come and copy it again so let's go ahead and copy this thing I'm gonna copy the whole thing and then go to the to the left and I'm gonna paste it one two three just the values now I don't want the formulas but I also want the formatting so I could right click and paste the formatting so I pasted the values and the formatting but not the formulas so I get this mimicking of the table, which now gives us our results, right? And I can go down here and say, okay, well, let's take a look at the heads. So I'm gonna use my count if function again. So I'm gonna say equals count if brackets, and then I'm gonna take the range here down to here, and then comma, and I'm gonna say count if it's uh, if uh, there's the range and the criteria if it's a one. So count it if it's a one. And then brackets, enter. There are zero this time that is, a, that is a one. Notice with these first two tests, we've got two tests that came out completely tails, right? Which is could happen because we only flipped it a few times. And then if I copy this to the right, now I've got one and two, so I'm gonna copy this all the way to the right and so there we have it and then we're gonna say tails so I could do the same thing count if brackets I'm picking up the entire range because I want to be able to copy it across I'm not just gonna pick up those two because I want to copy it across count if comma it's a number two and then close it up and so there it is and here's the total then which is the sum of these two, which means we only ran two tests this time. So I can underline this, and then I can say, these are my percent heads versus the percent tails. So the percent heads would be equal to zero over two, zero, and the percent tails would be two over two, uh, hold on a sec, equals two over two, and then the percent total, which is gonna be equal to the sum of these two percents. So I'm gonna make all of these percents, home tab, uh, numbers, percentifying them. So there's our percents, and I could put an underline here. So there we have it. In our first flip, we had zero heads, two tails, and so total tails. And so we've got a zero percent heads and hundred percent tails. So let's copy that across, putting my cursor on the and copying across. And you can see, of course, the idea would be that if we have more flips, then you would think we would get closer to the, to a better result. So I'm going to go to the, to the home tab font group, and make this blue this time for my totals, blue and white. Let's put, let's put some borders around it too for the fun of it. 
we'll put some borders around it. So the idea here being that with two flips is probably not going to be enough with an infinite number of flips, right, of the population. Uh, and, the, and so we could come up with some skewed results of, you know, here's two, two that all three hit tails here, which is kind of unusual. And then here we've got uh, the tails are just doing quite well. We've got 25 uh, uh, percent tails, 75 head because one out of four versus three out of four, five flips. So now we have two tails, three. So that one looks at least a little bit more accurate. Notice this one we flipped all heads came up this time, which is kind of un unusual, even though we flipped it six times, right? So that's kind of weird. And then you got four and three. This one actually came out exactly 50-50. And you would expect that if you get more flips, you would get closer uh, on average. However, not it's not always going to be closer than, than like this one. We flipped it uh, less amount of times, 14 versus 15 and the 14 came out to what we would think is actual population, 15 is off. So then if you if you use a random generating tool like this, you can then go in here and basically reshuffle everything, right? I can go in here and say, let's do a reshuffle, reshuffle, make sure that we get every column on the reshuffle. It might be better to put a table in here to make sure everything is shuffling. Let's actually do that, let's insert a table, make it into a table. And then when I reshuffle each column, everything should shuffle up. And then hopefully that all shuffled up. And then we could take, you know, all of our numbers that were randomly generated, hopefully copy them and paste them into our table over here, but paste them formats only one, two, three. And so now we've got a different set of numbers. Now we're on two that came up heads. And then now we've got two, two and three. So there's just a, a nice tool to be able to kind of simulate uh, our, our results with the random with the randomness. So I'm going to make this a little bit thinner. And we'll stop it here and continue on with some more testing next time.